So the title of the project is Advertisement Approval Classification Using Rapid Minor. So our team members are Shruti Jain, Chaitrali Katkar, Shrutika Mori and Kinjal Rao. Yes, so our problem statement is classification of whether the ads that were approved were by males or females using three different algorithms that is decision tree, KNN and random forest algorithms. So basically we are going to do this project using rapid miner. Now rapid miner studio is a power powerful data mining tool that enables everything from data mining to model deployment and model operations. So here we are going to use three different supervised learning algorithms. A supervised learning algorithm takes a known set of input data, the learning set and known responses to the data that is the output and forms a model to generate reasonable predictions for the response to the new input data. So first we have taken here the ads approval data set. So this is our ads approval data set and what we have done is we have first applied select attributes operator to our on our data set. So basically the select attributes operator selects a subset of attributes as we can see here. It, uh, we have uh, selected a basic uh, subset of attributes. Now the, the subset is specified by the attributes parameter and the original output port is connected to the input port of the second select attribute operator. There only nominal attributes are selected. So second is the set role operator. Now set role operator is used to change the role of one or more attributes. So here we have taken the gender attribute as our label target uh, role. So uh, the label role it indicates which attribute is the predicted class when used in any modeling operator so here our gender will be the label attribute now the third one author operator we have used is cross validation so basically the cross validation allows you to check your models performance on one data set which you use for training and testing so first uh, in in cross validation first a model that we have used is decision tree algorithm so decision tree is a supervised learning technique that can be used for both classification and regression problems but mostly it is preferred for classification problems. So it is a tree structure classifier where internal nodes represent the features of a data set, branches represent the decision rules and each leaf node represents the outcome. So now it is a graphical representation for getting all the possible solutions to a problem based on given solutions. So now this is apply model. So apply model operator is like a model is first trained on an example set by another operator which is often a learning algorithm and then afterwards this model can be applied on the another example set. So basically the goal is to get a prediction on unseen data or to transform data by using a pre-processing model. The next operator is performance operator that is also called as classification operator so which is used for uh, with the classification task only so it automatically determines the learning task type and calculates the most common criteria for that type so here we have given the per performance output to our final result so that we can see the accuracy of each algorithm so our second algorithm we have used is knn algorithm that is k nearest neighbor algorithm so k nearest neighbor is one of the simplest machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning technique so it assumes the similarity between the new data and the available data and put that new data into the category that is most similar to the available category so it also stores all the available data and classifies a new data so uh, the knn algorithm can be used for regression as well as for classification but mostly it is used for classification problems then our third algorithm that we have used here is random forest algorithm. So random forest is a popular machine learning algorithm which is also based on the supervised learning algorithm technique. It can be used for both classification and regression problems in machine learning and machine learning. So here it is a process of combining multiple classifiers to solve a complex problem and to improve the performance of the model. So basically random forest is a classifier that contains a number of decision trees on various subsets of the given data set and takes the average to improve the predictive accuracy of that data set. So now here I will run our whole process. Yes, so here we can see 
that our first uh, performance vector now this is a performance vector for decision tree model so the accuracy that the decision tree model gives is 86.53 percent here we can see that 97.30 percent male and 74.95 percent female have approved the as now for performance vector for KNN algorithm. So the accuracy that KNN algorithm gives is 95.72% whereas the accuracy using random forest algorithm is 95.63%. Now here is the plot view. This is the confusion matrix. So basically confusion matrix is its purpose is to show the difference between the model predictions and the actual value of the target variable in supervised classification algorithms. So uh, if we uh, so by comparing all the three models that is decision tree algorithm KNN and random forest algorithm we conclude that the KNN algorithm gives the best accuracy gives the best accuracy yes so that's that's our mini project